only yours. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. Another brother better, you will never find. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, never tired. You will never know, you ain't never tried. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard. On the job, you can see that. On my head is real good. We don't need your feedback. They clear the way when my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the uh-huh. rings. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Most valuable, they sweet as apple juice. Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason. We seeking W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up. What you wanna be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched me. We ain't go together like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position, just know your spot. Show don't stop, it's a long season. They planning on winning for the wrong reasons. Trying to get my number retired. Can't let these frauds beat us. I figured out the recipe. Never let opponents get the best of me. I'm focused on my legacy. I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard. On the job, you can see that. On my head, it's real good. We- From a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls, here's a look inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. The setting in this dome just serves to amplify the excitement of the folks in New Orleans as their Saints burst from the tunnel a moment ago. They're set, and we're set as well as the Saints get ready to do battle with the Dallas Cowboys. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Let's go now. 30 base.
get it. They run with Ezekiel Elliott, last year's NFL rushing leader. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the four. yard line the tackle made by demario davis it's a gain of 17 yards first and now before this first down play we're going to get a timeout here Select the team. Start your season with recommended settings. If you wish. They can't catch up because they lacking the stamina. Way too advanced to be playing with amateurs. Stay on attack when they tackle like damage. They react and play it back on the camera. Hot boy, just consider me flammable. Sure shot, I got all the intangibles. Need a leash, I'm a beast, I'm an animal. Heat the competition up like a Hannibal. Know the game like I wrote up the manual. I do weekly what you do on the annual. MVP, that decision unanimous. Hit dials, I don't think they can handle this. Battlefield, it's just me and my warriors. Guaranteed we emerge victorious. Years, blood, sweat, tears, it's glorious. I remember when they all was adoring us. Dash, got it on. Smash, foot on the gas. I will not crash. They will not stop me. Tenfold, copy, end zone. Watch me, celebrate. I'm cocky. I do my dance. Jump in the stands. No man, no man. Oh, there with the hands. Thought he could guard me. I ruin a plans. Got it on smash, put in the gas, I will not crash, honey y'all, dash, honey y'all, dash, honey y'all, dash, honey y'all, dash, honey y'all, dash. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Okay, 30,000 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls, they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now. now. Right pocket got euros, euros. left pocket got pound, pound. Somebody gonna want revenge, somebody might want it now. And coach, we are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome here in New Orleans. This is what it looked like just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as their Saints get ready to do battle with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys.
Deck. Yellow lady. Mike 54. Too low, Jeff Deck. Here we go, here we go. This is Alvin Kamara who made the Pro Bowl in each of his first two NFL seasons. He's at the 40, past the 20, 10, touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Saints have taken the early lead. Wow, first play in the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. What's good on the extra point? And it's now a 7-0 game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Prescott. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit him with a screen soon. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Here's the man who's led the league in rushing twice in three seasons, Ezekiel Elliott. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Jordan in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Two sacks last week. Another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. You know, a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. A first down carry by Elliott. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Prescott now. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And hey, you know, how you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays. And they didn't seem to want it. Well, you, you're the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. 
We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. Throwing. Prescott. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. Second down and goal. Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Randall Cobb. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point by Marr. Up and good. And we are tied at seventh. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Saints take over first and ten. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to that. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Tyrone Crawford able to record his fifth sack of the season. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive Ready. line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Breeze. And that will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Now Austin. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 42. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Marcus Davenport there to take him down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Last week, of course, the great performance, over 200 yards. He still wants to be fed. And they should. That's exactly what you should do. I have not yet met a running back that's run for over 200 yards. It says the very next week, it was about things out. I don't need it as much. No, they want it more and more. They're going to be ready to go because they think that's going to happen naturally now. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile. Stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it's third down. from the gun. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him.
Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. A breakaway for Michael Thomas. 20, 10, touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Saints have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted. And now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as he'll start at the 21-yard line. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Here's Prescott. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. This is Elliott. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. From the 45 on second down, Prescott going right side. He has Winton, and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. We remind you that coming up tomorrow night, Monday Night Football, we finish off the first quarter of the season with an AFC North battle from the Steel City. The Bengals and the Steelers kick off schedule for 8-15 Eastern. Shedding the tackle, and it gives him some room. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive, 17 yards and a first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Leighton Vander Esch, third in the NFL in tackles as a rookie last year there on the stop. From the 39, Breeze, and it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Jared Cook is a guy who's been around the NFL. He's been with the Titans, the Rams, the Packers. In the last two years in Oakland, now he makes a move to the Big Easy, where he pairs with Drew Brees and forms a nice little threat. Now Brees finding Kamara. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll be a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Here's Murray. Latavius Murray. Touchdown, New Orleans. Latavius Murray, his second touchdown on the season. And the Saints now add six to their lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. 
add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Lux with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. You got tight. You got tight. You got tight. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. P.J. Williams with a pick, and they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Hey, easy. Motion, motion. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Check, check, check. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. <laughs> Come on, one thing for sure, you know that Michael Thomas is going to be the target on a third down pass, and Drew Brees finds him and keeps this drive moving. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think because they're so cohesive. Defensive line linebackers really work well together. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And that'll push the lead up to 17. They got the interception, but very little movement after. And that forces them to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does. But we got to give a lot of credit where it's due. And that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding them to a field goal. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. And yeah, we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. From the 24, Prescott is going to fire one deep over the middle. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Von Bell. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. Cooper was the target there. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Hey, easy. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And some room to maneuver. And he'll take it into the end 
zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Saints add on to their lead. Lutz good on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 23. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here, and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Prescott to throw it. Completes it to Jason Witten. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's Prescott. Forced out to his left. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 16 yards, a first down. On first and 10, Prescott. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. He's NFL sack leader coming into the game. And now that's two more that he's added to his total. He wants some separation from spot one and two in that sack category. Third and long for Prescott. And that is incomplete coverage there by Von Bell. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Prescott to throw on four. He's got a rifle on deep left side. And my goodness, this is incomplete. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Saints will have the football back. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. They have been red hot, sometimes white hot here in this first half. They're just looking to add to that total right now. And this has to serve as a reminder to myself because so many times I get wrapped up in the play calling, how they sequence things, how it's run. But you know, at the end of the day, it's still execution. Those guys out on the field, and right now they are locked in and really looking good. They'll try to continue to be locked in here as we get ready to approach halftime. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at about the 32. Now Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. 
And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Again to Elliott. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game. In trouble, and he's taken down. Cameron Jordan, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. To throw is Prescott. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Cooper was the intended target. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 37-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. Come on, D. Cut on the left side by Ginn. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. First down. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Switch, switch, switch. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. And this is an example of breaking down a defense, because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the... And Kamara has it stripped. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 20. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. We're going to shut you down. We're going to shut you down. Yeah, so hold the phone here, Charles. I'd kind of written them off, but after that touchdown, it's certainly a long way still to go, but stranger things have happened. Well, when you're going to have big second-half comebacks, plays like that have to be involved. And yeah, now Jason Garrett electing for his guys to try for two. 46, 46. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Uh, they had the big play on the fumble return. They were looking for the one-two punch, but they couldn't get that two-point conversion. And I have to wonder, were they scheduled to go ahead and kick the extra point? But after a play like that, you talk about the one-two punch, right? It's a momentum play. Go for two and really try to capitalize, and that's what they attempted. Saints take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. Ready. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and ten at their own 25-yard line. They begin on the ground with Camara, and from the 25 they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a first carry for their fullback. Well, big man with ball met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. To throw, it's Breeze. And Thomas has it. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. They'll 
start the drive with Elliott. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? He did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. A gain there of 21 yards. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Here's Elliott. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down, Prescott. Buying time to his left. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into some windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was an excellent effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. But he breaks through another tackle. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one good for 26 and a first down. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. And it's caught. Give him nine there on the first down completion. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the two-yard line. They come out with one back and three tight ends. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard. Leaves him with a very manageable set. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. Here we go. Out of the gun, here's Prescott stepping up. He's going to keep it, and he will get into the end zone to shave two more points off the deficit. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Off the play fake to Kamara. It's Bree's. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas. With his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Saints now add six to their lead. Lutz will look to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Catch, 
take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. Here we go, set point, I think. Set point, 47. And we got to get to the ball, team. We got to get to the ball. A first down throw for Prescott. Playing with a catch right side. And they work this well upfield across the go, 45. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Prescott now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Oh, Prescott stripped, and this is picked up by the Saints. The big fella. And he's into the end zone, a fumble return, and a Saint touchdown. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And the lead is now 24. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Looking to throw. Prescott. Flush to his right. And he's taken down. Trying to do a little too much. Getting outside of the pocket. And it results in a sack. Sheldon Rankins abruptly ends that play with a sack. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Throwing. Prescott. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. Prescott now perfect since the second half started. 7 of 7. It's first and 10. Prescott now. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And he don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. 16 yards, a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Cobb. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Prescott from the gun. Caught left side by Cobb. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A good-looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. From the red zone now, Prescott. This is caught, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Blake Jarwin, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. Here's Prescott. He's got it. So they convert the two. That keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. And the Saints' hands team able to rein this one in. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And 
I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. Following the penalty, it's Kamara. Ooh, the juke. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Sean Lee, the pro bowler, there for the tackle. On third down, here's Kamara. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Saints, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Dallas... They're going to fall to 3-1 and one as they suffer their first loss. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gardens.